to my channel. Uh, we are doing a slightly different video this week. I hope that it's going to be entertaining for you. It's basically like a self-care video. You will, by the way, see Cooper wandering around. I can't stop him from wandering around in here, bless him. So a bit of a self-care video. We are doing eyebrows. We're going to do a makeover, like a Valentine's makeover. We're going to do teeth whitening. And I've got some little bits in between. I want to show you some jewellery that I bought from Amazon, which I'm like, oh my goodness. I think I've struck gold. So I want to show you those as well. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about the next kind of coming weeks and what's going on in my life, basically, just so you know. Right, if you are new here, ladies, welcome to the channel. This is slightly different. We normally do affordable fashion every week. Um, so if, again, that is your kind of thing and you haven't yet subscribed, definitely do whack down on that button down below. That'd be amazing. First off, what should I tell you first off? So we are moving house. So we're in the throes of moving house, which basically means... <laughs> We're gonna have to say goodbye to the exposed brick wall. I've thought every which way how I can recreate my backdrop in the new studio. Ems, you've gotta let go. But I don't want to. I've gotta think about getting that all set up as well as moving house because I don't wanna be off the channel for too long. I'll begin to miss you. Next week's video, I'm actually taking you along to the Tracy Giles Clinic in Knightsbridge. Now, if you didn't see my original Tracy Giles treatment video, I went in for lip blushing treatment. It's honestly incredible and it absolutely works. I'm, I was so thrilled with it. I have my annual top up and that is tomorrow. So whilst I'm there, I'm also, and you're probably gonna go, you don't need this, you don't need this. But what they're gonna give me is a treatment tomorrow called microblading. Now you've probably heard of it, but I didn't think that really I was the ideal candidate for eyebrow microblading because I do have eyebrows. I didn't think that they'd just be able to do the patchy areas or the sparse areas. I thought it was for mainly women that don't have eyebrows or have very, very thin eyebrows and they want redesigning. But actually, no, that's not the case at all. So I'm taking you along with me to the clinic tomorrow to have both of those treatments done. So that's going to be content for next Friday. I'm very excited. Right, let me show you this jewellery that I have purchased from Amazon. Honestly, I can't tell you how excited I was when I opened. I have seen them all, which is why I'm going to show you. First item that I bought from Amazon was a beautiful pair of earrings. They are so, so beautiful. I hope that you can really see see how beautiful they are. I will try them on just so you can see exactly what they look like. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. I'll pop the price on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head, but aren't they beautiful? And look at the color of the stone. It's almost like a morganite. If you haven't ever seen a morganite stone, oh, it's literally my perfect color in a gemstone. <laughs> that is very, very pale peach. And I think that's why I really, really loved these. So they were from Amazon, an Amazon shop. Can you believe that? Who would have known you could have got beautiful jewelry from Amazon? And then ladies, I picked up another pair of earrings. Now these are designer-esque, mentioning no names. They're like a double linking earring so so pretty aren't they beautiful i think they're absolutely stunning and again from amazon oh my goodness let's just pop the other one in again amazon okay so <laughs> super surprised at those but i've saved the best till last i've got to be honest i haven't actually tried these on right so this is actually a three-piece sweet. No, this is a three-piece set. I have got a matching bracelet, ring, and earrings. And in true Emily taste, it's in the Cartier vibe. Wow, wow, wow. How absolutely incredibly stunning is that from Amazon? Do I need to keep reminding you? It's from Amazon. It's supposed to be like the Cartier love bangle. Did you hear that? Did you hear that click? How flipping beautiful. Okay, alongside that, ladies, comes with a ring, a matching flipping ring. With the diamonds or the Dumontes exactly the same as the bracelet, it fits perfectly on my ring finger. So actually, I'd probably wear the bracelet on the same hand as the ring finger. Anyway, how amazing, but it doesn't stop there. I also got matching earrings. This is an absolute find. They're very, very affordable, but they look goddamn expensive. Wow. So you've got the ring, you've got the matching earrings, and you've got the bangle. Oh my goodness! So anyway, I had to show you that I'm keeping them on. Um, I will link them down below if you fancy checking them out. If I find something good, I will want to share it with you. Absolutely. Right, ladies, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to wash off my makeup. I am going to stick my silly rabbit ears on and I will come down and we will start this little pamper session. So whilst I'm doing that, get yourself a drinky, get yourself some snackies and get ready for a little lady fest. That sounds so wrong. 
the rabbit ears back. I feel like we haven't done this for such a long time. This is me. This is raw. This is, this is real life. So I have scrubbed my face. I am about to moisturize and I wanted to show you this. Excuse, excuse the action there. I wanted to show you this because this has been an absolute godsend since the last time I came back from Tracy Giles when I had my lip blushing done. This is a cream rescue. Well, it's a rescue cream, uh, but it's creme rescue, which is the French way of saying it. So this cream is supposed to contain everything you need for your skin to be able to replenish, renew. It rescues the skin, especially after it's been through some kind of traumatic procedure, which is what my lips had done. But I've got to say, it has lasted a flipping long time. It's very, very big. It can go on your face, your neck, and your décollage, which is uh, this part here. I'm actually wearing this necklace that my mum got me for Christmas, but I'm gonna keep it on, so I don't need to put it on my neck anyway. So it's really important for me to have fully moisturized skin. My skin is like a sponge. I don't know whether it's just because I'm naturally dehydrated. Hello, Cooper. Are you dehydrated? <laughs> but yeah, I do love a really, really rich moisturizer, and that is a rich moisturizer. Hopefully, when I go tomorrow, I might get another tub. Just love it. So now I'm moisturized, and to be quite honestly, I've just realized I'm doing my eyebrows before I do my makeover. So I went into Superdrug yesterday, and I got the Color Sport Diva 30 Day Brow Tint. This one is cruelty free. So we are gonna do my brows in the dark brown. What's important for me to remember this time round is that I'm not going to dye the skin underneath the brow because I want to be able to turn up tomorrow for the microblading. Is that I want them to be able to see where naturally I have the more sparse areas in my brows. So this is my natural color and normally they're quite dark. And obviously when I do my makeup, I make them fairly dark and fairly defined. This time round, I'm just going to dye the actual hairs so they can still see where naturally they don't grow. I hope that makes sense. Just a slightly different approach this time around. Right, you've got to mix up the developer with the dye. And there we go. So I'm going to be mixing this with this, stirring it with this and applying it with this. <laughs> you need a centimeter of this and 10 small drops of this. Perfect. I'm gonna follow the instructions to the nose this time. Normally, well, when I'm doing it on my own, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Because you're watching, I'm definitely gonna use the right ratio. Right, there you go. So it's all mixed up quite nicely. It's actually quite dark, which is great. Tomorrow, I'm actually gonna be asking her to go slightly dark. I don't want her to go the same color as my natural hairs, which is what you're seeing here. I want her to go more of a darker brown. That is fully mixed. Firstly, I'm just gonna brush through my crazy brows. Then I'm gonna dip in into the lotion. I'm not gonna soak it too much, because like I said, I don't want it to really touch the skin underneath. I'm just gonna apply it to the hairs. See how that's made a difference already. Normally I absolutely pack it on so it looks like a massive dark brown slug. It doesn't need to because I'm having them done tomorrow. Those damn greys, they do not die. I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of little greys that are just not dying. Anyway, right, so we leave that, I think, for 10 minutes. Uh, whilst that's kind of developing, and I'm hoping it's not dying the skin underneath, but who knows? Also tomorrow, which I mentioned earlier, um, I am having my 12-month touch-up or top-up of my lip blushing. Oh, I was gonna stick a little bit of lip oil on just to show you currently what I've got. So it's been 12 months. In fact, it's been nearly 13 months. This is what I'm going to tomorrow alongside the eyebrows. So I'm gonna feel like an absolutely brand new woman, hopefully, tomorrow. Right, let's get these eyebrows taken off and we'll see what we're kind of left with underneath. There we go. So they are darker, very slightly darker. They hopefully are not too much on the skin underneath. Maybe there's a little bit there, but hopefully they can work with that kind of shape tomorrow. That was dead easy, wasn't it? Let's get some makeup on our face. As you know, I'm not a primer girl, but I am gonna go back in with just a little bit more of this moisturizer, Tracy Giles, because I love a bit of moisturizer. Basically gonna do my makeup as if I was going on a date and then pick up the kids, which will look really strange. Ah, can't wait to show you that. I've got a few base products which I want to mention. Obviously, I can't use them all. I will just be choosing one. First product that I am gonna show you is the Me Velvet Radiance. This is their face base. Now, I did a Me review. I don't know if you remember this. This is truthfully one of the best foundations I have ever tried. Obviously, everybody's different because everybody's skin's different. And I have used this a lot. It actually looks like I haven't, but honestly, it goes down to about there. This is very much a kind of medium to full coverage. So ideal for date night, ideal for just out-out. And I probably will use this in 
this makeover, but I want to mention this beauty, Delilah. If you haven't seen or heard of Delilah, or maybe you have and you haven't actually tried out any of their products, oh my goody, this brand is insane. For starters, it is a high-end luxury brand. It is cruelty-free. So those two things in themselves make me very excited. This product is darn good. I think this was about £34, I think, if I remember rightly, I will link it down below. This is a foundation, but it's called Time Frame SPF 20. So it has an SPF in it, which is fab. 20 is absolutely fine, I think, for the UK. If you don't want a full coverage, this is absolutely the product to go for. I love the undertones. They all do seem to be either neutral or cool, which is definitely the undertone that I go for. Do you know what? I think I might just put it on now and see what you think. And then the last thing I am going to mention, because it does need a mention. This is from the lovely brand W7. Okay, so this is considered the bronzing balm. Now, it only comes in one shade, but I bought it because I wanted to try it out. For me, it was too light to be a bronzer. So I've actually been using it, as you can see, I've actually been using it as a base. This video is going to be totally higgledy piggly, but I'm going to show you. I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and just give it an absolute mix up. It's quite solid. It's not a liquid, but the more you rub it in, the more it becomes more of a paste. But can you see that sheen? So that transfers onto the skin. I'll show you. <laughs> if you are paler than me this will be absolutely beautiful as a bronzer which is what it was intended for an everyday base very very light it gives you that sheen i'm loving this as a bit of a cheaper everyday base product so there we go i did want to show you that because it doesn't get the rep that it deserves and do you know how much it is i think it's like 3.99 4.99 something like that i think you can get this on amazon as well i will link that down below right i do want to also show you the delilah so i'll quickly take this off and and we'll try that as well. So this Delilah time frame foundation, I am gonna also try this because there's no point in me telling you that it's great and that actually not showing it to you. I could be lying. I'm using shade Pebble, which is 4204. And I think, like I said, I mean, look, it's an absolutely spot on match. It's just amazing. Just evenly distribute it over the face. I just love the finish. It is so, so fresh, so natural. Um, and it just adds that little bit of extra color. It's just that perfect kind of everyday base. A little bit glowy medium coverage on. So that is the Delilah in Pebble. I don't even know whether just to keep this on and let's just chuck this over the top. In fact, I will do because you have seen this in action on its own. So we're just going to go straight in with this me. This is the me Velvet Radiance face base in Truly 09. Right, okay, so a couple of pumps I'm going to pop on this brush. That is the colour. There we go. So that's given me a little bit of extra coverage. As you can see, the color is spot on. Always remember to bring it down the neck. Uh, now, I don't normally powder down, but I am going to, and I'll tell you why, because the lighting does always shine me up when I do these makeup reviews. So I'm gonna pat down a little bit and I'm gonna use my Wow. This is my Wow translucent powder. This is E5P's makeup. If you haven't heard of Wow London, they have a load of it. And obviously, as you know, with E5P, everything is super cheap and they are cruelty free as well. So I'm just gonna literally lightly dust over just the areas which I don't want to be particularly shiny and that is literally all I need now I will put concealer on under my eyes why is she powdered before she's concealed aha uh -huh. it just works better for me I know that seems like a bit of a TikTok hack that is one long brush hair but no it, it just seems to work better for me and it actually does work it does work for me anyway and I'm only speaking for myself the one I tend to go for is my W7 now this is nice touch I think yeah nice touch concealer so this is in sand and I go to this every time I do a makeover for this channel so so it's obviously a good one. Right, it actually comes with, before I show you, it actually comes with this sponge built in, which I've tried and now nah, I've got my own brushes. So it does come with a spoolie. Now I would say is it's quite a powerful smell this, but anyway, right, I'm just gonna do the areas that are darker. I'm a little bit up here and here. Now, where the darkness is around our eyes is actually our eye socket. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm being condescending to those of you that get that, but my God, I have seen so many that bring it down here and around here. Unless you're an extraterrestrial, <laughs> then I don't know why you're bringing your concealer down to here. It literally is the area where your eye socket is. Okay, I'm glad I've got that out there. <laughs> right, so now I've placed it where I want it. Um, 
I'm just gonna go in with my 421. This is literally the best under eye concealer brush ever. right in the corner here. That's often the darkest place and it can really just brighten your eyes. And wow, what a difference that makes. That really kind of brightens out the eye and lifts it, in fact. So having a little bit here on the corner really does help to lift the eye. It goes on so much better on top of powder. I don't know why, it, you'd think it would almost curdle. <laughs> if that's the right word. Back in with the concealer, I do a little bit around the nose, a little bit on there, a little bit around the mouth. And then where we naturally line up here, see the line there? Just bring it down a little bit into that, but patting. Don't drag the product because you're then moving it from where you want it to where you don't want it. Just on the moon of the chin, which is this bit that, you know, that comes out, just on the top there, that's where I pop it. There we go. Do you know what? We're gonna, I'm gonna do the eyebrows. Let's let's get those eyes framed before we add the colour. I'll always use a slanted brush. It doesn't matter to me. It just needs to be slightly turgid. And then I've got some new products. I nearly forgot that. When I went to Superdrug to get my eyebrows off, I've actually got quite a lot of products in here. Ooh, completely forgot to tell you about this. So this is this is by a brand called Tanologist. If you have the Superdrug card, instead of paying $6.99, you pay $4.99, which is exactly the same price as if, if you got the Samaritz Mitt on its own. So I was like, no brainer. For $4.99 with the card, you get the Face Precision Perfection Mitt, which is this little one here. So I think you can stick three fingers in and you can really get round like this, like so, into the hairline. The bigger mitt, you've actually got a thumb hole, which is awesome. So you can actually go around the leg and around the arms. That's an improvement to the Samaritz one, which I have been using a lot. Anyway, that was from Superdrug, $4.99 if you've got the card. I picked up a brow gel. I picked it up in the Ash Brown and it's by Revolution. So I'm hoping this is gonna be similar or the same as the one that I've just run out of. Ah, okay, well it looks very, very similar. Ooh, it's teeny. It's absolutely teeny, so it's a lot smaller than the brush that was on my previous one. Let's give it a go. It's actually slightly warmer color than the dye that I've actually dyed my brows with. So we will keep going with it, but I don't think it's dark enough. I knew it. I should have got the medium brown and not the ash brown. Do you know what? That's not bad if you just want to kind of swipe and go. I, for a date night, or more of a made up look, I definitely like a lot more definition and slightly darker. Which is ironic because I've got blonde hair, but I do actually quite like differentiation between the two. It's good, but I've got the wrong shade, so I won't continue with that. Right, so let's go in with another brush. Oh, I have just found it. Here we go. This is my number 17. It's in precise definition. This is darker, you see? Can you see how much darker that is? Here we go. So it is a little bit darker. Basically, what this is saying is I need to find out whether 17 are still making these products. That'll do that'll do listen tomorrow i'm gonna have brand new brows so i really don't need to worry that that is the wrong shade right let's add some color to this undercooked prawn i have got the sun kiss from honolulu from w7 it is exactly as amazing as i was hoping it was going to be right so ladies these if you don't know w7 are pretty much the dupes for the benefits they're better and they're cheaper is all i'm going to say and also benefits still test on animals w7 does not this color is just amazing it is a very orangey yellow bronzer which I love so I'm just gonna go round in the areas that I normally put my bronzer all the way around the hairline this is what helps to bring the face out and in especially if you have a slightly wider face and that is the effect that you want to give definitely work the bronzer around the hairline it's much better when you've got a band like this it doesn't then go or transfer onto your hair and it's almost like a C and then over and a C again if you can see I'm concentrating as well on almost digging a, a, a shadow here this is what again slims the face and gives it more depth that's all I'm going to do for the bronzer because I can always come back later 
later and I can always top it up once we've got the eyes popping and the lips popping. Right, highlighter. This is Oh My God by Illamasqua. You can see that I love it because it's actually broken. This stuff just does not go down. I've been using this for about three years. It's literally all you need anyway is a very, very light dusting on one of these brushes. But I'm just going to concentrate this on the cheekbones. You don't want that real stroby effect. Or maybe you do, maybe you do, but you're not gonna get that on this channel. I just concentrate on that glowy effect just where your cheekbones would naturally hit the sun's rays. And again on this side as well. I have started to bring it down more onto the cheeks because actually, because it's such a finely milled highlighter powder, honestly, you can get away with sticking it anywhere. <laughs> And then I also go up here because it gives the illusion of Botox without the Botox. So just literally at the top of the head, it makes it look tight. If you do have resting lines on your forehead, you probably just want a very minimal amount up there. But if you're fairly smooth, just go for it. That's what I say. I do tend to put a little bit on my nose, although I never know whether that actually just accentuates it or whether it improves it. I don't know. Right, a highlighter done. That is an absolute game changer, that inner mask highlighter. So I I will um, also link that down below. I will also link the Honolulu as well because that is insane. Blusher, ladies. You know I love a blusher. I brought down my two favorite blushes, which are these. One is from NYX. It's a cream blush. This is in CB09 Orange. So you can understand that that is definitely a color that I love. That is a cream blush. I'm just gonna show you. You know me, that is definitely my color. Then, this is always an absolute go-to. This is called Cynic and it is by Revolution. So we've got a very orangey pink here. It's not as orange as this one. If I hold it up to a pink thing, um, you'll see it's definitely got an orange tinge to it. By the way, I may as well mention this. This is, oh my God, so this is a product I really, really want you to stay away from. I picked this up last week. It's called Brow Grip, Instant Brow Grip. I don't know what the hell happened to this product, but it made my eyebrows look like somebody had plastered them, uh, put it that way. I didn't know this until my husband got back from work. He came in to give me a kiss and he was like, what's on your eyebrows, babe? And I was like, what? I started touching them and as I touched them, they were crumbling and flaking. And I was like, oh my God, it's this product. I wouldn't recommend this. This unfortunately is W7, which as you know, I'm a mad, massive advocate for, but no, I think that needs to go back to the table. They need to do something with that. Anyway, do not buy Brow Grip by W7. Back to blushes, sorry ladies. So there we go. And and then this is the Makeup Revolution one. So those are my two favorite blushes. So you know what? I'm gonna use one of them. Do you know what? I was gonna go for Revolution. I'm not. I'm gonna go for the NYX Cream Blusher because I think it needs some air time. That's what it needs. I'll give myself a little smile. Hello, darling. Um, and guess what I'm doing? Tapping. I will always tap. Much easier to correct a tap mistake than a swipe mistake. And you really don't need to think about it more than that. I love my blusher. It's a personal preference. I like to see the blusher from a mile away. <laughs> So I do like a lot of blush. I'm gonna defy the laws of cream slash powder products with the Revolution, because I just wanna add a little bit more punchy color. And I think it will stick quite nicely to the cream. Yes, there we go. See, the face is coming to life. She's alive, everybody. <laughs> Always a little bit just on top of the nose, just to make it look a little bit natural. That's color, that's blusher, that's done. We are gonna go on to eyes now. Or should we do lips? Because it literally looks like I haven't got any lips at all. No, we'll do eyes, we'll do eyes. Just a little bit of lip oil, so I don't look like a Pee Herman. I'm going to not beat around the bush. I absolutely love my Dust Till Dawn. I wear it every week for this channel. So I thought, well, why change it? You know, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I do week on, week out. And these are the colors here. I like warmth in my eye colors. These colors, purples, reds, oranges, wow. You know, that really helps to pop out your eyes for sure. This color, as you can see, is Oasis. That's used a lot. In fact, that's used almost like a base and underneath the eye as well. So listen, I'm not gonna rant on. I'm literally gonna do my eyes as I would do my eyes for a date night. And I'm gonna bring you along with me. Right, I've actually turned it round because it's getting a little dirty and I've moved you in. Hello. So first things first, I always go in with a lighter color, either this one or this one. I will literally just tap it with my finger on the ball of the eye. Right, now I'm gonna go in with this color, which is gob. <laughs> Is it gob or gobby? Gobby. And I will go into the socket of my eye. The socket is where it goes in like that. Before you can actually feel the bone there. Give it a good 
good little wiggle in that eye socket. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. It's just eyeshadow. It starts to create a bit of depth. And when I tip my head back, you can actually see it there. You want to do exactly the same on the other side. You want to make sure that you blend it, but you don't want to go so far up that you're anywhere near the eyebrow. You want this area to still be your skin. I mean, you can come in later on and put a little highlighter up there, but you do not want to bring the eyeshadow up to the eyebrow. So there we go, you can see there's a definitely a darkening and you're definitely kind of popping out the eye. It's just the very, very beginning, but it's just about starting and not being too scared about what colors you're putting up there. Because to a lot of people, I'm sure that that's a scary color. Do not be scared. Um, I'm gonna pack some more colors on there, absolutely. Right, this area is now looking very boring. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of zhuzh. Now for this, I'm gonna use my Revolution palette. There are some fab colors in here, but I tend to open it up just for this shadow and this shadow shadow as well. I do actually sometimes use that as a blusher. Crazy, I know. So I'm going to rub my finger just in this one here. As you can see, it's got a nice shimmer and I'm going to just go on the ball of the eye. All of this can be intensified later. It's little baby steps and eventually you'll build up a very nice look. It's very important not to get disheartened too quickly when it comes to doing your eyes because when I first started, that's exactly what I did. And I was like, I can't do this. It looks crazy. Right, I'm going to start going underneath the eye now and I'm going to start off with a black cream liner and wow it's from wow London so this is like a retractable one I want it to be a little bit thinner but anyway what I'm going to do is add a little bit of darkness just underneath the eye to the mid part and stop there then I'm going to add some more color close my eyes and just do a little flick there because when I blend that that is just going to go out beautifully into like a wispy wing so I'll do the same the other side so I'm going to go straight in with this darker color which I always do plenty on the end of this brush blow off the excess and then blend with the black liner can you see how that just comes beautifully together. So you've got the definition of the black liner. It's blending really nicely with the powder. I can intensify this as I intensify the color around my eyes, but this is a really good starting block. And can you see how the black of the liner is just swishing up really nicely? We are starting to see definition. It's all in the blending. It's all in the kind of stacking of colors that gives it that depth. So we'll just keep going. Right, ladies, I am going to go in with a little bit of this debutant because I do love this color and why the hell not? So I'm going to try and bring this color in underneath and over the top, see where we're at. If we need to add another color, we shall do. fun now as you can tell. So I've used the debutant colour which is that one which has kind of just warmed it up a little bit, made it a little bit more fun. I am going to go back in with the gobby and I think I'm just going to go back round the edges and then I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. So we've got a little bit of definition going on on the bottom lid. So I now think we ought to add the liner. This is where I always go, oh my God, is this the day where it just goes absolutely tits up for me? I have my favorite liquid eyeliner here. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know it is a W7 product and it is the oh so sensitive uh, liquid liner as well. It is just the best I've ever tried. It works for me and that's what it's all about. And it's cheap as well. So oh so sensitive liquid hypoallergenic eyeliner. This is what I'm going to put on the top lid. Right, there we go ladies. So I've just done a very 
very thin line. They're not perfect, but I'm getting better. Am I not? <laughs> right, mascara, and I'm not gonna beat around the bush. This is my new favorite mascara. Actually, no, rewind. I have three favorite mascaras. One is the Hourglass. It's amazing. It is about 36 pounds, however. My second favorite mascara is Doll Beauty one. Um, again, I will link these, or you'll, I'll pop a little picture up here. Thirdly, and this is my most recent favorite mascara, is by me. Feature Length Lash Lover. I first discovered this, well, when I did my Me Cosmetics review about a month ago. Absolutely love it. It's pitch black. It comes off beautifully. It's a nice, thin wand. In fact, I'll show you. Look at that. Like, it's just heaven to me. I think I do have a discount code. I will pop it down below. And if you fancy trying it out, definitely get this one. It is a maze balls. It's definitely black and I love it. Right, so there we go. Mascara is on. I'm also gonna do the bottom lashes because I can't miss those out. And there we go. Oh my gosh, we're really getting there, aren't we? Right, lashes I picked up from, oh, I don't know. This was either Primark last week or Savers. I can't remember. Anyway, the GWA, they are cruelty free, which is great, i.e. it's not real animal hair and the glue has not been tested on animals. And they are in Heartbreaker. These are spot on for me. So these are the closest I can get to corner flutter lashes. GWA, they're three pounds, even though they say reusable. I find them everywhere. I find them on the dog. I find them on mirrors i find them on my laptop keyboard <laughs> they just turn up everywhere it might be a really really good glue i don't know but listen i have my forever faithful duo lash where are you literally right here in front of me sorry it's very dirty but at least it shows you that i use it this is a brush on lash glue which i love I think they're gonna be absolutely fine. And this is for a Valentine's kind of date night makeover. So let's go for it. You don't need a lot, but it all needs to be covered. And the very ends. I'll just leave that to get tacky. <laughs> are an absolute godsend honestly because you can really manipulate them on the top keep closing your eyes to make sure that you're not pulling down the liner and that has stuck really really well there's always one side that won't do as it's told and i bet you it's going to be this side or is this the day that that it all comes together so nicely <laughs> lashes are done. I'm actually thinking now I could go darker on my brows, but I'm not going to bother. We are going on to lips and I'm so, so excited about this. Yesterday I went into Superdrug, as I said. Oh, hang on. I've already got them out. I've already got them out. And I got some lip products, mainly because I needed lip liners. And in fact, the lip liner that I have been using for probably the last three months, I don't know. It's just a little bit of a cool color. I picked up a couple of lip liners from Makeup Academy, which I haven't done before because I always thought that they weren't cruelty free. They are now cruelty free. So I went for these two colours. That colour. Oh, that's quite dark, isn't it? Um, and then... I actually prefer this one, which is Sincere. I think I prefer that one because it has an orangier undertone. So I bought those two lip liners, but I also bought from the same brand, Makeup Academy, these two. They're called Satin Sheen Lip Stylos, Stilos, and they come like that. Oh my gosh, the color is just beautiful, but it's not necessarily a lipstick as such. It's a mixture between a lipstick and a lip balm. This one is called Heartfelt, so this is actually supposed to go with this liner potentially but i've got to say that one looks like it would maybe work better i also picked up this color as well so this is a proper nude or rather yeah a pinky nude so that's in super nude which is that color and heartfelt is that color I will try these, but I also want to show you these. Oh my giddy. If you have a B&M near you, get yourself down there. This is just the perfect trio of nudes. I'm going to take them out. Oh my gosh. Right, so I'm really getting Huda Beauty vibes here. I'm also getting Kim K vibes as well. These are the three. They are by the brand Profusion. They are super cheap. They're cruelty free and you can get them in B&M. Oh my God, that one. Doesn't that one look amazing? <gasps> okay, so I need to get my lips on. Um, so this one, ladies, is in the colour mauve, which is that colour, very subtle, little bit of pink there. That's very, very cute. This colour, which is just amazing, is in nude. So this is nude. Oh my God, that's amazing. 
Oh yeah, that is, yep, that's my kind of color. Bear in mind, ladies, I haven't got any lip liner on at the moment. I'm just swatching for you. And then the last one is in blush. So this is the slightly pinkier version. Oh yeah, your spring summer color. Mm, there you go. So you get three of those for three pound ninety nine, which is ridiculous. If I'm totally honest with you, I will use this one a lot. I will use this one quite a lot. I think this, I think, is a little bit pale for me. But anyway, three ninety nine for that trio from B and M is an absolute bargain. Right, I'm going to try out these lip liners because I'm very excited. I think I'm going to start with heartfelt. There's something so nice about a sharp lip liner pencil. <laughs> this is amazing. This is fantastic. I love it. With that liner, I'm actually going to use the heartfelt lip gloss as well. Here's the little lip stilo stylo. Wow. For somebody who doesn't have lips, that's absolutely worked a treat. That little duo. It's lovely, but we're on a date night. So I do think we should have a little bit of fun. And I'm about to do something which you may never have seen before. In order to link the makeup up with your lip color, we are gonna go back to this palette. We're actually gonna put some eyeshadow on the lips. I'm not crazy, it does work, and the staying power is incredible. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna dip and create my own little color. Well, I've just changed the brush and I'm going into Wild, which is the ready one, and I'm just gonna edge my lips with that. Giving away all my secrets here, but it will last, it will stay. This, this is going nowhere. <laughs> If I want to lighten it down, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this nude lip stilo. And I'm not being funny, ladies. That will stay. That might be a bit of an odd little trick, but it does work. I promise you, I use that trick every time I go out because if it's gonna be a long night, you want that lip line to stay on your lips. So yeah, super chuffed uh, with that lip. Um, I think the last thing that I'm gonna do on this makeover is actually just add a little bit of highlight inside the eyes. That helps to really pop them out. Um, and for that, I'm gonna go back to my Revolution Regal Romance palette. I will probably go for Soft, which is that one. And also, why not just under the eyebrows as well? And there we go. Right, ready for a Valentine's night. Oh no, one more thing. Let's do some teeth whitening. Right, I'm gonna keep my silly ears on and we are going to try a teeth whitening kit which I have bought from Amazon. I have not tried this brand before. A lot of you will probably go, you don't need to whiten your teeth, they're quite white. The lighting does very much make my teeth look a lot whiter than they are. So if there isn't a difference, obviously I will tell you the truth. If there is a difference, then winner, winner, chicken dinner. So anyway, this is a brand called Smile Therapy. It's an advanced home teeth whitening kit. By the looks of it, it comes with one of these LED lights. I don't know how much more effective they are. So we're literally gonna do this together. So it comes in packaging like this. It doesn't come in a box. So by the looks of it, six vials of the whitening solution. It comes with one of these really helpful charts <laughs> that don't match up against anyone's teeth, I don't think. Anyway, four moulds. So I don't know why you need four. I suppose maybe if you make a mistake, so there's four moulds there. They are mouldable in hot water, but I will show you that as it happens. And it also comes with the LED light. What I've got to do is I've actually got to put the trays one at a time in, not quite boiling water. So boil the water and then let it stand for five minutes, which is what I'm doing now. I've got to submerge the tray into the water, but not this tab bit. This tab bit needs to stay firm so that I can actually physically put it in my mouth. Three to four seconds, that's all. And then I've got to lift the tray from the water using the tab and quickly place it around your teeth. I do that for my top teeth and I do that for my bottom teeth and then we're ready to go. Dun, dun, dun. I think I could have sucked harder, <laughs> said the nun to the Pope. Um, no, I think I could have sucked harder because I think when you go in, you're supposed to create a suction and like really suck the plastic that's kind of melting around your teeth. So now I'm gonna do the bottom ones. It's not 
made much of an imprint. Okay, so let's hope. I've only got one. There's me going, why are they giving me four trays? Because <laughs> I screwed it up. <laughs> oh God, okay, the pressure's on because that last one was not good. I'm gonna go for those two. So that's my top one, that's my bottom one. Now, we've actually got to cut off the tabs. But anyway, that's what they want me to do. So they're both now ready for the whitening gel. I need to use a quarter of this syringe in each tray. Right. I said I was going to be honest with you, and I'm going to be honest. That has made a huge difference to my teeth. I mean, it tastes rank, and I think, if I'm right, it doesn't contain peroxide. It's for sensitive teeth, or rather, it doesn't burn the gums or the teeth, which it didn't. Look at my teeth. That is incredible. So it doesn't have peroxide in it. I don't know what the replacement ingredient is, but that works. That is insane. I mean, it's almost like too light. <laughs> I am so relieved that that actually did work. I will only ever tell you the truth and you can see that has made a huge flipping difference. Wow. I think I need to sort my lips out, that's for sure. So I'll do that now. I've just gone back in with Sincere Lip Line and I'm actually going to, I never thought I would say this, Charlotte Tilbury is now cruelty free. I don't normally jump on it straight away, but I've always wanted this lipstick because it always looks absolutely incredible. It's the Angel Alexandra and oh my God, was I happy when they became cruelty free. So anyway, this is what I'm going to apply on the top. You'll see it's such an early colour. There you go. Uh, right, ladies, that is, well, what have we done on this? We've dyed eyebrows, we've done my teeth whitening, we've done a little Valentine's makeover. I would have gone upstairs and, and washed my hair and sorted my hair out, but I really don't have time. And as you know, I'm in the throes of moving house. You wouldn't know it, would you? But behind that door and behind that door are just boxes. And I've got to go and pick up the kids from school. But anyway, if you have enjoyed my video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please whack down on that subscribe button down below. Please bear with me for those two weeks whilst I get that house move done. Um, and then I think I'm back with you the first Friday in March. So until next week, which is my Tracy Giles journey, eyebrows and lips, have a wonderful weekend, have a lovely week, and I will see you on the flip side. Take care.